11, three nights after a stray bullet killed an Indian River County Sheriff's deputy, the person who pulled the trigger is still out there. Dozens of Gifford citizens say they can best honor Deputy Gary Chambliss's memory by urging the person who can identify the shooter to come forward. Our Megan McRoberts with the story tonight. It's still hard to believe he's gone. My cousin is gone. Deputy Gary Chambliss was killed by a stray bullet Friday night. His family wants more to be done to find the shooter. They want to raise the reward money beyond the current $5,000 for information. It's worth it. Worth more. He'd been working for the Indian River County Sheriff's Department for 27 and a half years. Neighbors, community activists, pastors all tried thinking of more ideas. How can they get witnesses to trust and work with law enforcement? There are witnesses in our community that you know that know who killed KD. Indian River County NAACP President Tony Brown says the community can't blame law enforcement if the crime isn't solved. Black on black crime, I hear law enforcement say, well, they're killing each other. Duh, we are. And that won't stop, Brown says, until people speak up. We've got to turn this around, folks. We've got to turn it around. <laughs> Sheriff Darrell Lohr said he is putting more resources in Gifford to get to the bottom of some of the recent shootings in the town. People talked about wanting to see programs to build police and community relationships, more community policing. Brown hoping to empower deputies to do their job and give Chambliss his family, both biological and in law enforcement, answers. Be a part of the new Gifford, not the old Gifford. Megan McRoberts, WPTV News Channel 5. Deputy Chambliss's funeral will be held this weekend. A public viewing will be Friday at the Bobasso Church of God. Then his funeral will be held Saturday at the Central Assembly of God in Vero Beach. Rose